Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kaku coming at you with another video. So by popular demand and how well you guys are enjoying these fishing videos, we're going to continue with the series. And today I'm going to show you the Southern Stranglethorn Vale. Now, Northern STV here by Grom Gall is a valid fishing farm for the ironbound trunks, but it is a little dangerous because there are some mobs that will kill you. Southern Stranglethorn Vale is very dangerous because there are a lot of mobs that are going to kill you. So I'm going to do my best to fish this coast and see what we can pull with that. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the very first things that you are going to need in order to do this is a big iron fishing pole. You can get this by fishing cell, uh, shellfish traps over in Desolus by... A, Seasip uh, Bray Village for Horde. Um, it just has about a 1% chance to drop. It took me about 500 traps to get, so it was really, really painful for me. But just keep sticking with it, you'll get it. Then the second thing is an Aqua Dynamic Fish Attractor. These increase your fishing by 100 for 5 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. And then we have our gloves here that will increase our fishing by plus 2 totaling our fishing to be really really good and now we're starting here in booty bay because as you can see right here a pool has spawned right here in booty bay and these booty bay pools are fishable so we're going to start here in booty bay and then we're going to take the flight path to grom gall as horde if you're alliance you just have to run up the coast and good luck um, but Horde, you go to Grom Gall for two reasons. One, it starts you at the northern part of the path. And two, you can scout f pools as you fly the flight path, which is really, really awesome. But we're going to go ahead and start the timer here. And I will show you guys any cool things I find along the way. Or if we're in danger of, you know, dying or we find anything sort of new and out of the ordinary that we can sort of do. But we're going to fish for an hour along this entire coastline right here and i will see at the end for the mithril bound trunk opening Voop. Alrighty, guys so just want to show you a little example here so this is true for most of stranglethorn vale so as you can see when we get close to this shore obviously very risky going for this pool but we're able to fish it but see how we're in combat most mobs cannot swim. Most of these beasts cannot swim. So it is a safe spot if you miss that pool to simply just go into the river. And that once you're swimming, they will reset and they will run back and you can cast another try. I believe this pool is probably too hard for me to get. But we can certainly get a cast off. Make sure we might get it. But definitely got to be cautious that they do not hit you. Um, but just deploying tactics like that and knowing that you're safe from beasts. I say beasts specifically because there are pirates along this shore. So just making guys aware of that and hopefully it'll save your lives. But we're going to continue onward and upward and I will see you at the results. Alrighty guys, so we are back. We fished so much stuff up. We fished 19. 18 mithril bound trunks as well as we fished 18 uh strangle kelp and then we also got 10 firefin snappers five stone scale eels six rumsy rum black label and we actually didn't get any oily black mouth pools because every single one of those was in a bad spot that we could not fish i tried to so hard but we couldn't get it done and then so what i did was we went to booty bay checked there fished that pool then we flew up to grom gall we went all the way down the coast twice and then on the third time we went down here and instead of flying back we zoomed up this coastline and fished all of the pools here and then that took about that was our one hour fishing path and the reason you do that this one every about three times or at the end of your hour whatever you want to do is because after you fish this way a bunch the pools will then all get forced to one side if no one's here fishing them so the, a ton will be spawned over here and we got four or five just bam 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 and there are some pirates on the coast so you do have to be careful but that's it for the path and everything we did. Just want to be transparent. A lot of people are saying this farm is nerfed. You're not getting much. I think it's all 
lies and they're just trying to make you guys not come out here and do this farm but anyway let's get opening to these 19 mithril bound chunks so the first one we got some silver superior thick leather next one silver thick leather bolts of rune caught two two greens so we got an eight we got those are nutty eight stam eight strength plate gloves that one might be worth keeping because it only vendors for 25 silver. Then of the Eagle Bands, these are going to be great, but they're going to be a long-term investment to hold on. All of the Eagle Gear sells, and we got 7 out of 7. So that's kind of crazy. Um, this one, just some rugged leather and some mana pots. Rugged leather and some silver. Silver, that, thick leather. Then we got silver and some potions. The potions we keep because they don't really sell for much. Finally, some bolts of mage weave cloth. More bolts of mage weave cloth. We love that. We definitely stockpile that. Thick leather. And we're going to get some rugged leather and some mage weave. Ooh, this is a big one. Three thick leather, two rugged leather, boot of bolt of rune cloth. That's awesome. Two bolts of mage weave, two bolts of rune cloth. One silver, one rugged leather. Uh, superior, two rugged leather, one bolt of rune cloth. Ooh, big one right here. Two, four. Oh my god, two rugged leather, one mage. That was everything. What a pull. What a pull right there. Then three bolts, two bolts of rune cloth. Then we got superiors, thick leather, bolts of rune cloth. Nothing. A dud. And the last one. Drum roll, please. Okay, we got a silver two superiors three thick leather one bolt of mage we've two bolts of rune cloth and the glossomere headpiece of the wolf so these i'm gonna keep these because these could be really nice at phase bis at like at level 40 someone might buy these um we'll have to do some research these this would be a really big investment but it sells for 40 right now and then this sells for 57 silver so i think i'm gonna sell these we'll keep these we sell our rugged leather we sell bolts of rune cloth because i don't think it's worth because that's two gold raw from that 42 gold 40 silver and then 55 silver from that so we're looking real nice with that raw gold we save our mage weave because this will be used next phase thick leather as well we can save or we could sell um, that really just depends what you want to do. I think we save it because next phase is going to be very useful. Um, and then all of these potions, they don't really sell for much to vendors. So we can definitely save these for leveling and a few other things. The kelp and the um, kelp and oily black mouse make free action potions. And the uh, fiery fin snappers, we're going to make elixirs of firepower with those but anyway that is a really really amazing haul stv we got 19 crates to give you a review of the other two videos we got 10 i think in snares and 9 in Feralis. here in stv we got 19 so such an amazing haul we even got three boes nothing too crazy but we'll definitely have to see what we can do with this but anyway what a great farm what a great pull and Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll do my best to uh, read them all and get back to you guys. But I truly hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.